Sky TV. Drive by manager Steve Cunningham after the opening day draw against Bly Spartans at Hurst Cross. 2 2 draw, Cunny. Could have gone either way. In the last two minutes, it could have done. It was only going one way for 94 minutes. I've never seen a more one sided game of football in my entire life. And I don't mean to be disrespectful to Bly, um, but their fans and their management team and their players know they've got away with one with that. <clears throat> um, we've had 28 attempts, um, opportunities uh, on their goal. Now, if you don't put the ball in the back of the net, you're going to get punished in this league. And um, first 10 minutes, I thought we were outstanding. We came out of the traps and we were excellent. We could have been 1-0 up after two minutes. Could have been 3-0 up after five minutes. It could have been 4-0, 5-0 after 10 minutes. Um, just with the amount of pressure we are putting on them. And uh, we go and give away a sloppy goal uh, where someone isn't doing their job and close down the shot. And to be fair to Nicky Devedix, he's done it all his career. He's found space. He's had a touch, looked up and uh, stroked one into the back of the net. And then we got, we reacted really, really well. Uh, we finished the half, the much stronger team. We had all the ball. I think it was a possession of maybe 90-10, um, you know. And the chances and chances were coming and coming. And I kept saying, we need to take one of these chances. We've gone into the half. We're 1-0 down. We've come out, we've had a, a, a chance after a minute of the second half, another chance two minutes into the second half, and that was the theme for the whole second half. And I think their fans, they were bored because I don't think the ball crossed the halfway line other than when we were passing the ball around. But the amount of entries into the box and the chances we've created, and glorious chances, by the way. I pay my strikers the top money in the team. Jason Gilchrist, Darius Asai, Tom Denton, Jack Massey, um, James Hardy's they all had chances galore today and they've let themselves down because even though Darius has scored and Gilly's both scored they had chances to kill the game but what happens then is um, you can have all the possession all the chances that you want but we've shown great character to come from one down to be winning 2-1 and there was only one team going to win it and then all of a sudden the only time in the game that our back line had to defend really up to that point they got found wanting and uh, it was poor from the back line in terms of just really poor defending. And they've gone and scored to make it 2-2. And unfortunately, when it went 2-2, you'd think then that they'd put on 11 new players and they probably would have felt that they could have gone on and won the game and had a better chance in the last five minutes of the game, which football's just crazy because we should have been 8-9-1, 10-1, double figures. And I'm not just trying to sound sour grapes and I'll get ridiculed for saying it and... But if anyone was at this game today, you'll have seen exactly what I'm saying. But unfortunately, we've, we've cost two points ourselves today, massively. Obviously, you've got to look at the positives. There were two goals. Yes, there was two conceded. Scrappily, you, you, you might say. But two goals, there was lots of chances. The build-up play was there. Yeah, but well, I don't mean this disrespectfully. Against a better team, we'd have got punished 3-0 or 4-0 if you don't take chances. And I really, I know it comes across maybe really disrespectful to them, and I don't mean that. I really don't. But I'm angry. I'm ten minutes after the game of football that we've just, we should have won the game of football. And um, if we're talking about trying to win the league or get promoted, you have to go and beat the teams like that. You have to do. And I know that sounds harsh, but I'm just going to say it as it is. I'll back the players when we've been brilliant, and I back them when they show character and they showed character to get back in two one. But when you go two one. You, you close the game out. We had chances. Jason Gilchrist got to go and put it and make it 3-1. The game's done. Darius side got to go and finish the game. But then in the moments that we've got to defend, it, we only had to defend up to the time that they scored twice. One was Nicky Devedix and the second one was the, the, the second goal for them. It, it's poor, mate. And uh, we need to wise up very, very quickly uh, against uh, Warrington Rounds on Tuesday night. If we defend like that, we're going to get beat. We mentioned rounds, though. We'll get on to that in a second. But Jason Gilchrist having a goal disallowed, which from our vantage at the top of the stand looks very, very onside. Yeah, they're all lifts and butts, aren't they? But take away the offside and maybe the one where Dan Cowan, I think there's a penalty on Tom Denton and Dan Cowan. Clearly. You know, forget that. Forget the referee, because I think, you know what? It, he's not had much to do in the game and it, it was there was decisions there and fall where I thought they should have had a yellow card in the first half and then Berkey should have had one on the for us in the second half. It was the same challenge. Um, I thought the ref did okay. It's the first one for them. The amount of chances that we've had today, they know they've got away with robbery. That, that is it. <laughs> it's daylight robbery in terms of the, the amount of chances we've created and we haven't taken them. And I'm talking great chances. The keeper's done well, he's, he's, he's jumped on a few things, he'll lose things, but just glorious chances. We, we've thrown away two points today. 
looking ahead to rounds, then Tuesday night games, we say it all the time, but we're going to say it again throughout August and September, thick and fast in the Northern Premier League. Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Monday, Saturday, Tuesday. Rounds on, on uh, Tuesday night. Playoff semi finalists. It's, it's a good test for the first away game of the season. Very tough. But all them games you just mentioned, we had enough chances today to win all them games. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. I keep stressing at it. Now, I walk in the clubhouse and our fans are like, oh, how have we done that? How have we got beat by them? And then you get some fans who go, how many chances have we created? We've played well. The bottom line is, I said to uh, the lads in the changing room, and this is where I'm going to flip the coin a little bit and give Blythe a little bit of credit. We have got a better team on paper at the moment than Blythe. You can see that with the game, the percentage, the quality of football, we should have won. But if a team's going to show a bit of this and a pair of them, they're going to get something out of it. And if you don't match that, you don't deserve to win a game of football. Now, they've come under the cost. They've not had a great pre-season. I've talked about this because people have been dogging them. But they've come to a place today where we've been tipped as four favourites to win the league. And they've come away from a home place after travelling three hours or whatever and took a point on the road. I know their manager would be more than happy with that. And their fans should be very proud because their players have actually, even though in terms of quality, they've stayed in the game and then could have gone on and won the game. So I'm angry. and But I do think fair play to uh, for Blythe they stayed in the game. But if we're going to go to Warrington Rylands, who are a very different opposition, and we play like that and don't take our chances and defend like that, we're going to get beat. So we need to wise up very quickly, mate, and make sure that, yeah, we take the positive in terms of the performance going forward, the opportunities are there, we're creating opportunities, but we're going to have to start taking them or it's going to be a very, very bloody long season.